financial institutions have been hijacked, our media institutions, our educational institutions, uh, our healthcare institutions. Every single aspect of what it means to be an American in this country is actually under corporate control. And if we are going to actually have a functioning democracy, then we're going to have to address the legal system because the legal system and the courts are being used to legitimize the theft and corruption of our, of, of our society. Literally, environmental protection laws are overturned on the basis that they're violating corporations' constitutional rights. Workers law, worker protection laws are overturned. Safety laws are, vi are violated. And most recently, in the Citizens United versus the Federal Election Commission, the very integrity of our elections. The court said we can't protect our own elections. And now, corporations, and I should say trade unions, can spend as much money as they want on elections. M more money was spent in the last election cycle than in the history of the United States. What did Mussolini call this form of government? <laughs> say it. Fascism. 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 Folks, and let's just be clear, Mussolini actually said fascism more properly should be called corporatism. corporatism. That's what he called it first. He called it first, corporatism. And he was, to be clear, Mussolini was proud of it. Right? He was a defender of this idea. And he said it's brilliant because we merge the economic might of our mighty large corporations with the national might of the government itself to fuse a powerful fist. He was proud of it. And I think, frankly, we need to get more comfortable with the F word in this country. China's doing it now. And many people looking at this country, David Cobb would say, damn, we just have a kinder, more gentler version of it. Right? So uh, the point I'm making is this, y'all, that we need a movement in this country that is actually going to dismantle the legal system, or at least those aspects of the legal system that have taken away our power to govern ourselves. I'm not saying that uh, democracy means David Cobb wins. I'm saying democracy means the people rule and that there needs to be a political process by which we engage in political discourse and debate and we can't allow courts to overturn laws that attempt to control corporate harm. But before I, before I end, I do want to underscore this. There is a role for the courts to overturn laws. That is, any time a law actually violates somebody's rights. For example, the Patriot Act. That is actually illegitimate, yet the courts, including the Democrats on the U.S. Supreme Court, upheld it. Laws that alleged that women were not, uh, could not vote, those laws should have been overturned. But do you know what the United States Supreme Court said in Minor v. Happersett? No. Women are not persons for the purposes of the 14th Amendment, and they upheld those laws. It took a constitutional amendment to overturn it. Likewise, those laws that said that Africans were not people and were originally slaves, and then the 13th Amendment uh, abolishes slavery, Jim Crow segregation laws enact, I argue those laws were illegitimate. The court should have overturned them. They didn't overturn them until there was, was a mass social movement in the streets. And Brown versus Board of Education, let me ask you something. Do you think that the court went to bed white supremacist one day and woke up like seeing the light? Or do you think that Thurgood Marshall, the brilliant lawyer that he was, do you think that he thought of a, law, uh, of a legal argument that nobody had thought of before? Or do you think instead that it was 50 years of organizing by the Anti-Lynching League and the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and white folks who were actually marching in the streets to force that change? I guess the point is this, folks. We need a social movement in this country that's going to take itself seriously. And I'm proud to tell you that movement is happening. It's called Move to Amend. It is a national movement in this country that is actually calling for a constitutional amendment to make it clear that corporations are not persons, that they do not have constitutional rights. And guess how many times corporate media has co covered us at Move to Amend? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Zero. And in fact, 
In the month of June last year, 25,000 of us converged on Atlanta where we participated in the U.S. Social Forum. I know Leah was there, a couple of others. Anybody else in Atlanta for the U.S. Social Forum? Oh, that's, the first one was in Atlanta. This year, last year was in Detroit. How many of you were in Detroit? Leah, yeah? About 25,000. How many times did we get covered in the corporate media nationally? Not a single time. Here's something interesting. Three weeks prior, the Tea Party had its convention. 600 people showed up. It was on every single television program, news program for weeks before and after. Every print journal covered it, everything, right? The Koch brothers have spent probably a million dollars at the Tea Party. Uh, liberal press. <laughs> that's right. And I like to point out the press in this country is just as liberal as the multi-billionaires who own it. So here's the thing. At Move to Amend, we now have over 103,000 people who are calling for a constitutional amendment. So I'm going to invite you. I know many of you have probably already uh, signed this at move2amend.org, but if you haven't, I'm going to ask you to please sign up.